A planned solar farm for Oxfordshire would create an ocean of glass and steel, according to opponents of the scheme tonight. Botley West Solar Farm would span three sites in the county, covering a 1,000 hectares of land that's almost the size of Heathrow Airport. The developer behind the proposal, Photovolt Development Partners, says it's listening to concerns. Jessica Bannon reports. With solar panels proposed along both sides of this road near Longhambra, it's the sheer scale of the farm that's alarming local residents. More than a thousand people have signed a petition against it. And now former Oxfordshire County Council leader and Bladen resident Ian Hudspeth is also voicing his concern. Is it the most appropriate technology in the most appropriate area? Take for instance today, it's a day that we're all going to be using an awful lot of energy, but it's an overcast day, is energy going to be produced in sufficient quantities? The farm could cover three sites, north of Woodstock, west of Kidlington and west of Botley, on land owned by the Blenheim Estate, among others. It's likely to use panels similar to this solar park near Bicester, and the developer believes it would generate enough power for all of Oxfordshire's homes. We need to build a lot of solar power in this country to achieve our net zero targets um, and to play our role in tackling climate change, but also to cut reliance on fossil fuels um, and to bring down uh, energy prices ultimately because uh, uh, solar power is very cheap and fossil fuels, especially at the moment, are, are expensive. So it's kind of not either or. Uh, we need to build solar panels on, on roofs and we also need to build uh, large scale solar and other renewables. One public consultation has already taken place and the developer says it's currently analysing the feedback. A second consultation will then be launched later this year. Because of the amount of energy it will generate, the scheme's future will ultimately be decided by the government, not by local councils. If it gets the go-ahead, buildings expected to start in 2025. Jessica Bannum, BBC South Today.